All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem in which says if the resultant force acting on the support is to be 1,200 pounds directly horizontally to the right, determine the force F in rope A and the corresponding angle. So basically what they are telling you is that if there is a force, the resultant force is going horizontally to the right and it's 1,200 pounds, what is F? Basically, you want to build a triangle and move these right here. And this will be F. And you know that since this one's 60, this one's going to be 30 degrees. Now, basically, you're going to use the log cosines. Why are you going to use the log cosines? Because look at the triangle. This is your triangle. You have an angle, which is 30 degrees that you know. You know one side and the other side. And you always want to use the log cosines when you have something like this. Two sides and the angle between them, and you're trying to find the third side. The log cosine says that C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared minus 2a b and cosine of the angle between them which is c the opposite if this is little c this is big c so when you plug the numbers in and you solve for c you're gonna get something like this. c squared is equal to 1200 plus 900 minus 2 times 1200 times 900 times cosine of 30. When you solve all this and then you square root it, then you're going to get C is equal to 615.94 pounds. That's going to be the magnitude of F is equal to the magnitude of F. Now we need the angle and basically for that I want you to look at the y-axis. If you add the y component of f, which would be this, this is the y component of f, and the y component of a, you're going to get zero because the resultant force is horizontal. Plus b y component is equal to zero. So the a component is going to be f, which we figured out already is 615.94 sine of theta minus because b is going down it's going on the negative y direction 900 sine of 30 is equal to zero when you solve for theta you're going to get that it's equal to 46.94 degrees there you get the angle so f is equal to 616 i'm approximating at an angle of 47 degrees approximately final answer